their mark was less, but they have advanced medical knowledge. Denmark can freely have home visitations for patients. Also, the government allocated enough money to the healthcare services. The Danish government need consistent quality to clear system to the healthcare. The healthcare system of Denmark was hard to analyze at first, but the system clearly gives the right path to have better access to the needed healthcare. These are our suggestions to solve the problems we identified in Denmark with regards to the health system. First, they can reach out to other countries to learn how a similar problem of medical case is solved. Second, Find enough money for research so that it could better the medical system of the country. Lastly, relay information to everyone and make sure to address for problems identified. Conclusion There are over 7 plus health or mental health services in Canada and 38.83 million people in Canada. 30% of their taxes go to health care and Canada spends $50 million on mental health services and spends $7,068 for its citizens. The just shown. Make more medical services. Pay more doctors. Avoid hospital shortages. And hire more nurses to help the doctors. Make more hospital. Make the payment or fee cheaper. Allow everyone to have an access to the healthcare. Make the wait time shorter unless if there is a shortage of doctors. has one of the lowest ranks in HDI. The country also fails to provide the basic needs of a, a person such as clean water, proper food, resources, education, and access to medical care. Not to mention the corruption, lack of civil rights, extremely low life expectancy, extremely high rates of maternal mortality, short age, the medical staff, and a small number of hospitals for a big population. All in all, we think it is clear that cellular law needs help. We need, we need to take action. We, we can post an open letter to the world and ask them to take action in stopping up Corruption in Serion. Even the smallest things we we give can make a uh, big changes. These are our suggestion and recommend that we can think can help Sierra Leone's healthcare improve. First, medical healthcare insurance. Second, 
free health care for pregnant and breastfeeding women and minors as well. Third, free daycare. Fourth, hygiene programs. Fifth, community service. Sixth, free nutrition programs. And last but not least, a bigger budget for medical health care services and facilities. Conclusions for the healthcare system in Myanmar. The current situations of various aspects of healthcare in Myanmar are poor people are not healthy physically and mentally, and because of lack of better healthcare services, they can't be treated properly. But the government of Myanmar is trying to improve the healthcare services for its people. There are they are planning to add various amount of facilities and train more healthcare prof professionals. Also, a new attempt to introduce a health insurance is, a, is expected to further improve con conditions. National and international support is included for successful improvements. Most of the business people are or they don't have the capacity to pay for their own medical care. The government should be the one to help and support this, but even the government is poor. As well, maybe the solution to this are making the private hospitals who can offer better health care services to lessen the amount to be paid. Not enough funds for public health care means too many people cannot access the services they need causing decline in health care services unreliable medicine supplies and equipment and shortage of doctors and nurses maybe the government could allocate a big chunk of its budget to the health care of its people. The government in Myanmar is not making the health of the people a priority. Maybe one of the solutions is for a good leader to, to step up and take over the planning of the proper care services for the people. Recommendation or suggestion from our, our group for Myanmar's healthcare system. We think everyone should have fair access to all medicines, procedures, surgeries, and good doctors and nurses. No one should have to suffer because of being poor and every part of the country should have a big hospital that can offer health services for everything and everyone. And small hospitals, even in poor provinces, for emergencies and clinics, so everyone can ask for help and can learn the basic health guidelines. My mission is that everyone can have equal access to all care. My mission is to give suggestions to solve this specific problem. And basically, the vision is to make sure that people will have a clear access to medical care. My mission is to encourage people to participate in any activities that will help the most fun and to be able to help the people in need. 
I am Shunei Amanda Su. My vision is to help the people in the simplest way that I can. My mission is to save up money and help the people that need help. I am Sydney Nandenongyo. My vision is for everyone to receive health care service successfully. My mission is to make suggestions to help the government offer good health care services for the people. I am Steve Lee. My vision is to ensure that people will have equal access to any medical treatment and needs. And my mission is to give the best medical help that will need in the present and in the future. I am Mohan Silatore. My vision is for the world to have unsick people and for the people to be misky and well informed in taking the right medical action they need. My mission is to strengthen the research that would help people choose the best medicine and treatment for any kinds of viruses or disease. I am Emily Albay. My vision is to help people when they need help. My mission is to make sure to take action in helping as much as I can. I am Kurt Lin. My vision is to help the country that has the worst health care. My mission is to donate to the countries that have the most challenge, challenging system when it comes to health care. I am Glory Jameson. My vision is to help poor people start a new beginning and end corruption that makes the lives of struggling people more difficult. My mission is to donate to the poor and inform people of corruption activities all around the world. I am Joshua Lee. My mission is to help the country that has My mission is to make sure that the quality of services they provide to people is in excellent condition. I am Si Tong Zhang. My vision is for the world to uh, ad advance in the field of medicines and my mission is to provide accessible medicine to everyone that is in need. I am Wesley Chong. My vision is to help the people have more equal access to healthcare. And my mission is to have equal access to services and system to all people. I am Nate Africa Galingan. My vision is to help the poor countries get rich by doing fundraising and making sure that the fund will be used wisely. My mission is to try to donate to the poor countries to help them start and grow. I am Jared Nicolon. My vision is to help people and countries in their needs. My mission is to help the poor by making small steps to make sure that my help will reach them. I'm Alex Kai. My vision in the future is that well that we will have fair and advanced medical care. My vision is to make sure that I will take part in any activity that will help people in need. I am Kai Boang. My vision is to make sure that in the future, there will be less poor people anymore. My mission is to give suggestions on how our 
specific problem can be solved and to donate to people that are in need. I am a Yofi Janine Danchus. My vision is to make the poor countries a better place for the people who live there. My mission is to donate to poor countries and encourage other people to take action too.